Okay, okay, so... <laughs> Hello. I will say up front, right now, right at the start, if you're looking for a safe, reliable way to make your shoes a little bit bigger, this is probably not it. Probably not. I mean, it might be. You might have successful results. But this is probably not it. I'm still going to try two different methods. I'm still going to show you what I did. I'm still going to explain the process just in case you're interested. So if you want to see me put some shoes in the freezer anyway, stick around. Stick around. But if you're looking to increase your shoes size by half a size or even a whole size, this is not it. This is just not it. Basically, I recently gained about half a shoe size. Um, I didn't think that could happen when you were an adult already, but you know, it happened. And I have a lot of shoes that I like and wear regularly and I don't want to have to buy all new ones. So I thought I would try and uh, stretch out at least two pairs of boots that I wanted to keep. Um, because the alternative is buying new ones anyway, right? So if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But if it does work, then bonus. So <laughs> I looked up so many different tutorials and so much information on it. I even um, went and asked a cobbler about it because there's one local cobbler that I go to regularly to get my shoes repaired and rehealed and whatnot. So I asked him about it and he said that it really only works with leather. It has to be real leather and half a size at most, but not even really half a size. So I picked two leather pairs and half a size is good enough for me, I think. So there's two main methods that I was going to use here. Um, one is heat and the other is ice, basically. It seems like extreme temperatures are the way to expand leather shoes and it just seems like um, these are basically two versions of the same thing. You just get them to an extreme temperature and then let them settle back to a normal temperature on your feet so that they take out the shape of the shape and size of your feet, right? Um, I'll start with the heat method because that's the simple one. This one is way, way easier. If you have a hairdryer, you can do this. I used a hand steamer, you know, like a little steam iron for clothes, because I could, basically. Um, <laughs> no real reason for why I used that other, over a hairdryer, I just did. But the method is simple. Heat the boots, heat them up as much as they can go without it being like painful to the touch, obviously. Don't hurt yourself. Um, I got the steam all around the outside of them and inside of them. Then you just put them on and let them cool down on you. That's it. That's it. This is... It's a little bit effective. I will say that they are slightly less tight than they were. Really? Really? My phone's gonna go now. No one's chatted for hours. Hours. As soon as I start filming. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Such is life. Anyway, so... The heat method is really simple. Heat them up and let them cool down on your feet. This one is slightly less effective than the ice method, but it is simpler. And if you only need a little bit more space in your shoes, this will be this will be grand. You'll be fine. Okay. Method two is ice. <laughs> this one is way more complicated. So obviously, um, when water freezes, it expands, right? So the the plan here was to put Ziploc bags inside the shoes and then fill those bags with water so that, in effect, the shoes are full of water, right? Then put them in the freezer overnight, preferably, so that they freeze completely. Um, and then obviously while that's happening, like while the shoes are in the freezer, the water will be expanding into ice and that will kind of stretch out the leather a little bit. Um, the next day, you take them back out the freezer and they're full of ice and then you just wait for that ice to melt. 
Now, the shoes are going to get real wet at this point because there'll be like condensation stuff on the outside and they'll be so cold and you're going to have to wait quite a while for the ice inside them to melt because it's a big block of ice. But this method is a little bit more effective than the heat method. I found that these shoes did expand a little bit more than the other boots. So if you are thinking of trying either of these, ice will expand your shoes a little further than the heat did. Anyway, so you're waiting for this ice to melt, right? Eventually you can get the bags of ice out of the shoes and it's like half water and it's gross. Chuck that in the sink, don't get ice and water everywhere. While the shoes are still cold, put them on. Put them on and let them return to normal temperature around your feet. And that way they'll be like molded to your shape and then they'll be infinitely more comfortable. That's it. Those are the two methods. This video is what, five minutes long? I'm obviously I've only done this with these two pairs of boots and like I said I've only tried it with wheel leather because I have heard that it only works with wheel leather so I can't I can't speak for synthetic shoes I can't speak for actually shoes in general that aren't boots because I only tried two pairs of boots so if anyone out there has tried either of these methods on a different style of shoe or something that isn't leather let me know in a comment Tell us what your results were, what you did, because I'm curious. I would like to know. Or if you know another better method, let me know that as well, because I'm kind of still looking for a way to make these shoes bigger, because they are both more comfortable now than they were, but neither of them is actually big enough. Such is life. Such is life. It's very unfortunate. On that note, my feet have grown half a shoe size to almost a whole shoe size, so uh, follow me on Depop because I'm going to be selling shoes <laughs> and lace market also, I guess. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this or at least had a laugh watching me put shoes in the freezer. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos whenever I feel like it. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>